So I got my shipment. It's got the Dynamics 365 release notes in it. I'm so excited to open up this box and see what's inside. I hope you're just as excited as I am. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Poor little Freddy Rex over there. Stand him back up. This bad boy open. It's a simple one, but it's a good one. I think you guys are going to like it. We have got, for you, single click sales order confirmation. What do you say we hop on over and dig into some more details about this new feature? With this new single click sales order confirmation feature, you can confirm sales orders with a single click. It enhances the sales order list page and the detail pages by adding a new menu item or button that lets you create a sales order confirmation directly without requiring you to go to the sales order confirmation posting page. The command is designed to create the sales order confirmation by using the confirmation settings that you most recently used. If you're familiar with the confirm button on the purchase order page, this new confirm button on the sales order page works pretty much exactly the same way. The idea is that it makes it faster and easier for users to confirm sales orders. It's important to note that the user will need to go into that confirmation screen the first time to select their different options. And this includes things like the print settings, the posting settings, if you're using summary invoicing, things like that. Um, you select all of those options and the system will remember those settings for the next time you use the confirmation button or when you use the new single click button. Let's take a look at how to enable this feature using feature management. So I'm here in Dynamics 365, Finance and Operations. When you first log in, you may get a notification up in the upper right hand corner or see a little icon over your bell indicating that new features have been added. Uh, you can click on this link to see the details of all of those features that have been uh, added by clicking on View Features. Or if you don't have the notification at all, you can simply navigate into Feature Management. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can start typing into the search bar up at the top and then click on Feature Management. Or from your home workspace, you can click on Feature Management. So we'll go ahead and click to open up the Feature Management workspace. Once you're here in the Feature Management Workspace, you can see that currently we have 77 new features. I currently have 525 that have not been enabled and none are scheduled. Now, if you don't see a particular feature or you search for a feature and you're not finding the one you want, you can click on this Check for Updates button over on the right-hand side, and this will actually go out and see if there are any additional new features. Now, the feature that we want to enable is called the uh, single click sales order confirmation. So I'm going to start uh, by doing a search where the feature name is single. You'll notice I don't see that here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on check for updates. Depending on how frequently or when the last time was that you clicked on this button, it may take a while to process. All right, so I've refreshed the screen and I'm gonna go ahead and do the search again, searching for single, and here we can see that feature, single click sales order confirmation. You'll notice that this feature was added on 4.9 and it's no longer a preview feature. So uh, back in March was when this feature was um, added and you can see in my particular environment, it was actually enabled on 4.10. If I decided I didn't want it anymore, I could disable that feature. Um, or if you have not enabled it yet, you will see an enable button down here at the bottom. So that's what you'll wanna click on to enable this new feature. 
Now, once you've enabled this new feature, you're ready to start using it. There's no additional setup or configuration that's required. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how it works. I'm going to switch over to the home page and we're going to navigate into the sales order page. So I'm going to go ahead and search for um, all sales orders. So I'll, I'll type in all sales orders in my search bar up top and click on the all sales orders page. Once the sales order page is opened up, we can start to use our new confirmation button. On the cell tab in the action pane is where you will find the new button. So up in the actions group of the action pane, we have the new confirm now button. Now you can take any sales order and use this new confirm now button, but it's important to note that you need to first select your options um, for that confirmation. Um, so, or if you want to validate or view those options that will be used, you're going to use the confirmation button in the generate group. So I'm going to select the sales order here and click on confirmation, which will open up a new page where we can select those various different options. If I want to print it to my screen, or if I want to save it as a PDF, uh, send it as an email, any of those types of options for the output. You can also select all the other parameters and options for the confirmation. All right, so now that the dialog has opened up, we can select those options. On the parameters tab, I can select all of the different options, whether or not I wanna print it, um, if I wanna print to screen or use print management, you can see all those um, options. These options haven't changed, so if you're familiar with the sales order confirmation process, it's exactly the same. If you wanna select your printer options, you're gonna go ahead and use the printer setup button up at the top and then choose confirmation. And then a new dialog will open where you can choose those settings. So for my example, I'm gonna go ahead and just print this to the screen and click okay. And I'll click okay again. Now on a normal confirmation, I would need to click these buttons um, every single time I want to confirm a sales order. So you can see this has been about five or six different clicks. I'm clicking yes to confirm that I'm just printing this to my screen. And now it'll take a second to generate that document onto my screen. So now that the document has generated to my screen, I can use the print icon or download it as a PDF or use any of the other buttons to kind of, um, you know, take action on the, the completed confirmation. Now, going back to the sales order list page, I'm going to now use the one click confirm button. So again, I can select any sales order in the list and then click on confirm now. This will pop up that same dialog confirming that I'm, I'm only printing it to my screen. I'll click yes to confirm and continue and now that document will generate to my screen. And you can see with just one click, I'm able to do the same actions that I had to use five to six clicks before. Now I can see that document is generated to my screen and I can use all my buttons to print, download, and so on. So there you have it. It's that quick and easy to enable this new feature and start taking advantage of the one click confirm on the sales order page. Sometimes, it's the little things in life.